Hey there, and welcome to Soapboard. My name is Anastasia, and you have just joined a demonstration video to the complete guide of Soapboard in under 10 minutes. In this video, we'll walk you through the platform so that you can gain the maximal value from what we offer. Let's look at how to browse inquiries and search for relevant business for your company. You can filter all the available projects by categories of garments, by services required, and minimum order quantity per style. After you find an interesting project, you can view it and study it more closely. From this window, you can message the brand, submit a cost estimation, or send a formal proposal of your services. When you click on Make a Proposal here, in the pop-up window, choose Preferred Currency of the Service, add a description of the items, quantity, and rate. If there is more than one style or type of clothing, click on New Entry. Add relevant VAT, payout terms, the proof of completion of the job, delivery terms, and any other details you consider relevant. After you finish, click on Send. When your proposal is accepted by the brand, you have to wait until the brand pays for it. When the brand makes the payment, you will see a message that the brand has paid for the proposal, and you can start working. When you complete the job, you will have to submit proof of completion to the brand. After that, you can request the release of the second part of the payment, directly from the conversation. Click on Request Funds. The dashboard is an intuitive way to view vital information at a glance, like inquiries that might interest you, recently saved contacts, and recent messages. There are many features you can access through the dashboard such as seeing your payments and invoices, editing your profile, and changing your account settings. Let's take a look at account settings. Select it from the menu above. Here you can add your contact details, like name, last name, phone, or change your profile visibility. You can also change your company name, change password for login, change notification settings, or if necessary, delete your account. If we take a look at notification settings, here you can control what notifications to receive through your email client. After all the changes you make on this page, don't forget to click Save. Let's take a look at your profile page. The profile page is the face of your company and you can customize fields to better describe your business. When you create a company profile after the sign-up procedure, in this section, you can add more information about your company. We strongly encourage you to be creative and take your time with this page. And please, don't forget to add your minimum order quantities and the location of your business. After you have added your profile, click on Finish Editing on the right side of your profile. Let's take a look at the Wallet section. At a glance, you can view three currencies. British Pound, Euros, and US Dollars. Soport offers you to make transactions in the three most common currencies in the world. You can use all three of them, or just one, that suits your business best. Let's see how you can add a withdrawal account under the currency you choose. Point on the currency and in the small red window below, there will be indicated that you have no withdrawal account information added yet. To fill in the withdrawal form, click here. In the pop-up window, select Preferred Withdrawal Method. Add your beneficiary's bank details. Please fill in all the fields marked as required to continue. Click on Save. This concludes our complete guide to Soport. We really appreciate you making it to the end of this video. Soport is packed with features and tools to help you grow your business network. And remember, our customer support staff is always working around the clock to help you succeed. Thank you, and welcome to Soport.